trumpet players, how's it going? We're going to be looking at arpeggios today. And um, these ones are in B flat concert, but of course on the trumpet, we are playing all these in C. Uh, we're going to be going one note at a time and then talking about the arpeggio that is attached to each one of those notes. We'll go over the notes themselves and we'll also play it. So let's jump right on in. Here's the first one. This is a C major arpeggio. So it's C, E, G, E, C. Number two, move up to D. This is a D minor arpeggio. We have D, F, A, F, D. Hopefully your valves aren't sticking like mine are. Moving up to the next one, we have E. This is our third. It's another minor arpeggio. So we have the E, G, B, G, E. Moving up to the fourth one, this is F, and it's a major arpeggio, F, A, C, A, F. All right, moving on to the fifth one, this is G, we have, it's a major arpeggio, G, B, first valve D, remember first valve for the high D, you do not add the third. So you get G, B, D, back to B, and then open G. Number six, this is A, and this is a minor arpeggio. We have A, C, E, C, A. And of course, the high E, you don't play one and two, you play it open. So we have A, one and two, up to C, which is open, and then E, which is open. So we're using our lips quite a bit there. Here we go. Now we move on to the seventh. This is a diminished arpeggio, not major or minor. It's got a little bit of a different sound because of the flat five, uh, but I want you to get to know this sound as well. Uh, this one, if you're not playing trumpet all the time, gets a little bit tricky. So here we go. So B, D, keep your finger down for F, uh, sorry, back to D, and then back to second valve B. Here we go. And then finally, we get back to the first or eighth, our octave. This is C, our C major arpeggio. And we have high C, and then up to E, which is still open, and then G, which is still open. So we don't have to deal with any valves. It's all lip work up here. So let's see if I can pull it off. Okay, and that's all there is to it. So as you're working through this, I want you to get a good idea of what those major arpeggios sound like, how they differ from the minor arpeggios, and then also be able to pick out with your ear the diminished arpeggio. So good luck with that, good luck with that everybody, and let me know if you need any help. Thank you so much for watching the video. Take care.